Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix error code that is 0xA00F425D video capture start fail 0x80131500. So if you are receiving this error code while using your webcam, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to update webcam driver from device manager. So make a right click on start menu, then click on device manager. Now, in device manager, find your webcam driver, uh, webcam device. So you will find your webcam under the cameras. So here, in my case, I can find the find my webcam under the cameras. In your case, you will find it. You may find it under imaging device. So webcam may be under cameras, or you can find it under imaging device. So if you see the imaging device in the list, expand that option, and you will find your webcam. So find your webcam, then make a right click, then click on update driver. Click on search automatically uh, for updated driver software. Click on it. It will go ahead and install the latest driver, then restart your computer and then check your camera. Now still you are facing the problem, then again open device manager. Make a right click on your webcam, then click on update driver. And this time click on browse my computer for driver software. And then click on let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. And then select USB video device and then click on next. It will install the driver, then restart your computer and then check for the error message. Now still you are facing the problem. The next step is to update your Windows 10. So go to the start menu, then click on settings, then click on update and security and then click on check for update and it will go ahead and install the update on your computer. Once the update is installed, restart your computer and then check the camera. Now the third option is to make changes in the registry. So before you make changes in the re registry, just make sure that you backup. So be, uh, to open registry, just type in registry, just type in uh, reg edit in Windows search box. So it's R E G E D I T. So it's reg edit. Type in reg edit in Windows search box and then click on make a right click on registry editor and then click on run as administrator then click on yes to allow now we have to go to this path that is hkey underscore local underscore machine so here you can see so it took, first of all you have to create a backup so go to file then click on export and then select uh, desktop or wherever you want to you know save the file just go ahead and select the destination and then enter the name so i will just type in registry i will just type in registry and then click on save and it will go ahead and save it to the desktop in my case now once you have a backup you can go ahead and go to this path now whenever you want to import the registry suppose uh, something happened and if you want to restore the, the registry then you have to go to file and then click on import when you click on file you will see the import option and that's how you can go ahead and restore registry so but uh, that should not be the case because uh, nothing wrong will happen so you know if you do it properly so go to hk underscore local underscore machine so expand this option which is hk underscore local underscore machine so click on this arrow then select software, expand software, then expand Microsoft. So you find Microsoft, here I can see Microsoft. And then Windows Media Foundation, so scroll down. Now here you can find Windows Media Foundation, expand this and then select platform make a right click on platform folder and select new d1 so make a right click on platform then click on new then click on d1 32 bit value here you can see now you have to name so copy this and you have to name this file click on make a right click and then click on rename and then paste the file name so it's enable frame server mode we have to name it enable frame server mode then we have to right click on newly created value and select modify so make a right click then click on modify 
and make sure that this is zero the value data is zero if it's not zero go ahead and enter zero and then click on okay and then we have to i will go ahead and minimize this now because we have to repeat the process Then we have to go ahead and repeat the step from this path. So go um, go to H key local machine. So again, expand H key local machine. Then software. Here is the software, and then wow 6432 node. So wow 6432 node. Expand this. Then Microsoft. Here I can see Microsoft. Yeah, Microsoft. Then Windows Media Foundation, scroll down. Here I can see Windows Media Foundation, and then again select platform. Select platform, make a right click, then click on new D word 32 bit value. Again, name the same. You have to rename it with the same name. That is, make a right click, then click on rename, enable frame server mode. And then again you have to make a right click then click on modify and set the value to zero if it's not zero then click on ok then close the registry ed editor and then you can go ahead and check your camera so one of the steps should definitely help you to get rid of this error so that will be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel